So this video is on getting the stepper motor, the controller board, all configured and connected to Dragonframe software. There are some other videos out there on this, so I will try to put some links below. I've had some help along the way in getting this set up. So I will put some links to the Arduino sketch, which is one of the most critical pieces of all of this. So to start with, I'll go over the parts and pieces of what I have here. So we have our Uno, Arduino Uno board. I have a CNC shield, the stepper motors. In this case, I am going to do four stepper motors. These are the A4988 stepper motors. They came with the uh, little heat shield. So I'm going to peel off the sticky back. You're going to peel that off. You're going to stick it on. I want to be careful not to damage the pins. I've got my stepper motor. I have my power supply. And the power supply needs to be connected to the CNC shield board not to the Arduino Uno. So at this point, I'm going to put the, C the rest of the heat sinks on. I'm going to take the shield. And you're going to connect this to your Arduino board. Now you'll notice that there's pins here, pins here. Also double check because I'm noticing as I look here, I've got one pin that's a little bent. So be cautious not to have any bent pins, but be cautious not to break them off. And there's really only one way to connect this. Uh, if you try to go the opposite way, you're going to notice that the board's sticking out incorrectly. So you need the overhang to be over the power over the power. There we go. Now we're going to connect each of the stepper motor drivers onto the four different connectors. What you'll notice on the bottom of the stepper drivers, you'll see the different description for each of the pins. You're going to look for the one that says uh, enable. So where the enable pin is, if you look on the CNC shield for each of the X, Y, Z, and the A, you will also find where there is an enable on the board itself. You'll see a little E for enable. So the enable pin needs to be lined up with the enable on the board with the E. So once you figure out one, they should all be the same. Now, in order to use four motors, you have to have some jumpers. And the last two jumpers right next to the power connection, you'll see an X, Y, a Z, and this one says D12. The D12, you want to put two jumpers across the yellow and across the blue. That's going to enable this fourth motor to be controlled separately within Dragon Frame. So that gives you four motors you can control from one CNC shield board. So next up, we're going to want to connect our power supply. So I'm going to take, I have a power supply. On this one, I actually have uh, two extra cables that I'm not going to use at the moment. So I have those taped off. You have your positive, which is the red. Negative is the black. But before I tighten it down, one of the other things I have done for this particular uh, setup, I did, and I will put this link in the description, uh, I 3D printed a mounting case in which I can mount the 
Arduino CNC, but I can also mount a fan that will slide into here. The board will slide in here. So before I mount that, we're going to take slide this into the case. This does have an opening for your uh, USB cable as well as power cable, but I wanted to get that done first. And then we can take along with the power, I'm going to attach the fan so that when I turn on power, it will also help to cool the stepper motors. So the next we're going to kind of move over to the computer and we're going to now take all of this uh, along with our stepper motor which we haven't hooked up yet and we are going to set up the Arduino code and get that loaded onto the Arduino. Then we're going to do the connection to Dragon Frame and see if we can get the stepper motor to work. Okay, on the computer, I've got Arduino launched. I will put a link down below to the sketch. I do not own this code. I am not the one who wrote the code, but it worked for me. So hopefully going to that link will get you the information that you need. So I've opened up Arduino. I'm going to take and connect the Arduino to the computer. You don't need power on at this point because we're just going to be loading the sketch onto here. But what I do want to do is this is the name of the sketch from the uh, where I got it off of website. We're going to open that. I did not have to make any modifications to this code, so I left it as is. And what we're going to do is we want to take now and look at the tools. We want to make sure the board is Arduino Uno, since that's what I'm using. If you have a different board, then you'll want to select it from the drop down. We also want to make sure that the port is seeing this as my USB port, which is what I just plugged in. And you can see Arduino Uno in the name. So that tells me I am now have the right settings to access this board. We're going to verify the code as it goes through and compiles the sketch. I do get a low memory warning, but I didn't have any problems with that. I think it's just showing that there's not a ton of memory, but didn't have any problems with that. And now we are going to upload this to the board. So it's in the process of uploading. Once it finishes, it says done uploading. And at this point, everything should be set up on the shield. I'm going to bring up Dragon Frame at the moment, but we haven't connected this yet. So I have my stepper motor. I'm going to take, and for right now, it doesn't really matter which one of the four uh, we connect it to. So I'm going to connect it to the X. Well, let's do it to the Y since it's a little easier to reach. So we're going to hook that up. I'm going to turn on my power. Fan's going to kick in, so it might be a little bit noisy, but that's blowing against it. I now have everything connected, and we're going to open up Dragon Frame. In Dragon Frame, there's two things that you have to do to connect this and have it so that you can now control it from within Dragon Frame. You want to go to the scene, and you're going to go to Connections. You're going to add a connection. The device will become DF Moco Arduino. This is going to be Arc Moco, uh, Arc Moco 1. If you had another one of these, let's say you want to do eight motors that you want to control, you could set up another one as Arc Moco 2 and so on. The location is going to be the USB. That's where this is plugged into. And we're going to click the connect button. At this point, it's telling me that it is connected. So I am now connected to the board. So that's step one. 
within dragon frame. Step two is down here in the lower left, once you're under the gear icon. So the gear icon is arc motion control. You wanna be on that tab within dragon frame. You're gonna go down into the middle left, hit this little plus next to this little arc graph line. And what this is going to do is allow us to set up an access for each one of these. So what we're gonna do is a little bit of testing here because we're gonna see which, since I've only got one motor hooked up, is this gonna be one, two, three, or four? Once I have all four, I'm gonna create four of these connections and map it to each one of those. They'll all be under Arc Moco one because Arc Moco one is this board. But there are gonna be different channels that you're gonna to have to test to see which one. Right now I'm on the Y. So if I take channel one, if I hit this little arrow, let's see if the stepper motor moves and it doesn't. So let's go to channel two. I'm gonna hit this motor and right there you can see it moves slightly. So what I'm gonna to do to make it a little more pronounced, we're gonna make this at a zero to make it 10,000. If I hit that, you'll now see the motor moves. So I, that is channel two is going to be the Y channel. So if I want to make this my local one Y, I can name it that. And now I will be able to control that from here. If I wanna add a second stepper, I would plug it in. I would go into here, I would add another one, I would call it something else, and I would find the proper channel between the four and map that. So now you'll be able to put all four motors controlled from Dragon Frame with a simple Arduino CNC shield and stepper motor drivers. So hopefully this helped. Uh, I'll have links to everything down in the description. And next, I'm hoping to work on a project in which we can put all these motors to use with Dragon Frame, starting to do some stop motion animation.